Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon. So today we will learn about our second step that is nothing but generating a access token using a configuration. So how how to set up a key clock integration and a key clock server and configuration? It is uh, explained in my earlier video. I'll give you the link. Please refer to that. Now go, let us start with generating access token. So as you seen yesterday, we we created a real ems. We created a different lms as well as the clients and everything users and everything in the previous video so you can refer to that so now we'll try to generate the access token using a postman with these configurations okay i'll just take example of microservices project as my realm so this is the realm which we already configured so how to check all the endpoint configuration you can just click on here and go to endpoints and click on here so you'll be able to see the link which is the call which is made to give all the information you can see this is the endpoint for issuer this is the endpoint for authorization this is the endpoint for token endpoint and this is the endpoint for introspection endpoint so you can see all the details given it here itself okay you can just uh, give this information so this is very very important information from this url endpoints only you are going to get your access token and refresh token and everything so let us try to hit this from our postman so i just made a get call from our postman if you see it here already so you can see lot of data is the same data is available you can see authorization endpoint token endpoint introspection endpoint user info endpoint there are lot of information is available as a part of your configuration which you made okay so this is just a get call you can get all your open configuration so here just you need to mention your realm id so my realm id is microservices project which you can see it here from here so my microservice project is my realm id so for each realm you can get a different different configurations now once you configure everything now you have to generate your access token now there are two ways to generate access token as i explained earlier or maybe more ways but let us understand the two ways how we are going to generate one is i am going to generate access token using my client id and secret my client is nothing but which are registered here if you can see uh, uh, for example my client is like my first client this is nothing but which i created so using this key and secret credentials you can see this is the credential secret we have is already created there okay while you are doing a configuration so what you can do you can just give a body parameters like a parameters one is my your client id client secret and always remember when you are using your client id and client secret client id should be a client credentials so you have to use the client type as a client credentials so this is the endpoint you can see this is your realm name and protocol open id and token this is the endpoint which is to generate your access token and everything so let us try to hit this endpoint you can see i hit the endpoint so you can see i have generated access token there is a expiries refresh token everything everything is there here i'll explain you in detail in subsequent videos for what is mean by access token refresh token and everything what is this all individuals about okay so this is the one of the way it is just like uh, using your client id and secret there is another way you can use your username and password using a uh, to get access token so what you can do is like you can just same the endpoint is the still same but in the body parameter what you pass it here so you can use a client name you can use the first client username and password i am giving here is the client secret because we used our configuration if you see we used our configuration settings here if you go to my client i used it as a confidential so that why i have to use this client secret if it is a public if you can see if it is only public public i can directly use uh, or i can uh, need not to use a client secret at all it is just for a uh, when you make a confidence it is need to use and which client you want to get the access with the username and password with the same which we created as a part of the config client configuration you can get it here so always remember in authorization you do send as a no auth for both one because you are using a body parameters there so you can see all the values are here so i'll try to hit the same again okay you can see this here also you are able to generate so you can generate using anything based on your requirement generally uh, it's like app to app communication or person to app communication uh, so there will be a different criteria will be there what you are going to and how you are going to generate all those things so this is the access token is generated and what is this all uh, response type is about and how it is 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 interpreted everything what is token type what is the session state 
what is a refresh token and what is expired time i'll explain in the next subsequent video with an example okay so this is just an uh, test to your configuration which you configured as a part of kicklock configuration so that you can test it from the postman so i'll come up with a detailed example related to this response type which is nothing but access token refresh token and expiry times so i'll explain in the next videos thanks thanks a lot